Good morning. It is Tuesday, December 10th, and I'm about to open my advent calendar, which is a David's Tea advent calendar. I was um, informed by a wonderful viewer yesterday that as far as they could tell, um, the advent calendars that they had seen on other podcasts are set up to where instead of taking out the days, you turn them around and they create like a picture maybe. <sighs> Thank you so much for telling me that. I'm so dense. I've, I've just been taking them out, but I have been saving them. So uh, I am going to go back to my first Vlogmas and see what order they were supposed to go in so that I can put them all back backwards and see what happens. Hi, Lucy. Okay, let's see. Five went right there. So it's looking like it doesn't actually have like a picture like I have seen in other people's David's Tea events. Um, but, oh, Lucy, no. Oh my gosh. Okay. But still, I think it's a good idea and I should be doing it. Okay, so they do have patterns on the back. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, 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 four. No. Okay, what goes here? Two? Let's see if we can... Oh, is that six? I found six! Thank you, Lucy. Where's three go? Three goes right here. Okay, me and Lucy have put all the days back. And so I think they're just like the graphic little things, but still they look cool. So, what's today? Lucy, what's the date today? Is it the 10th? I think it's the 10th. You want to open it for me, Lucy? Why don't you take it out of there? Aw, and day 10 came with a free tea of the day for a free cup of tea if you actually go to the store. But I don't have a store around me, so... Oh, well. You got it? What is it, Lucy? What does that say? Candy Cane Crush. Good job, Lucy. <gasps> Does that smell good? Yeah. Yeah. So the one that I'm really like waiting for, and I feel like it's got to be in this advent calendar. Like, I've heard so much about it that I feel like it's got to be in this advent cal calendar. Is Santa's Secret and... Of course, I know Santa's Secret from Candace of Pin Feathers and Pearls, which is one of my very, very, very favorite podcasts. She doesn't podcast that often anymore, but I love her podcast so much. And she really likes Santa's Secret, and so I've heard about it from her, and I want to try it. And so I'm waiting for the day that I get Santa's Secret in my advent calendar. We'll see. I don't know. Lucy has uh, taken the Candy King crush for herself and the coupon, so <laughs> I guess those are hers now. <laughs> Good job. Cleaning out the fridge. Lucy and I are off to the local community center for a play group. She is all ready in her fineries, so I'll see you later.
So, four things. One, I just finished skeining the Christmas yarn that I dyed last weekend, so that's really exciting. Um, it still needs to be labeled and photographed, and once that's done, I can put it up in the shop and show you guys for real. I gave you a little sneak peek of it as I was gaining it. I really like it. I'm super happy with it. Um, I was going for a real kind of like foresty, earthy kind of Christmas theme this year. I like it. Okay. Yeah. You'll see more of that later. Uh, thing number two, the fridge is amazing. Cleaning out the refrigerator is something that I've been wanting to do ever since we moved into this house five and a half years ago. <laughs> And uh, I was reminded that I wanted to do it when the power went out because I figured that would be a good opportunity. We had some pretty long power outages in October. If you watched Vlogtober, you might have remembered that, um, but I didn't do it. And this morning, uh, I hate to throw Colin under the bus and air out his uh, dirty mistakes on the internet, but he accidentally <laughs> dropped and cracked an egg in the fridge and it went everywhere. It didn't go everywhere. We cleaned it up, but it was like spot cleaning. And I was like, okay, this is my opportunity to just clean the fridge. So I'm so glad I finally did it. It's amazing having a freshly cleaned refrigerator. I don't even know if I've ever cleaned a fridge like that before. <laughs> but it, it looks so good now. It's so clean. I love it. I even found this plastic piece that was just shoved all the way in the back of the refrigerator that, and I figured out where it went and it was for like the middle of the two bottom like crisper drawers and so now they actually open and close properly on a track. <gasps> I'm excited. Thing number three, we went to the play group and it was really fun. So there's this local play group um, that like First Five California um, runs here in Arcata. Uh, First Five of California is, it's a really cool organization. It's like a, a state run kind of like support system for young children and parents and stuff like that. Anyway, they put on these play groups at the community center here like three times a week and they're from 10 to 12. And for a long time, that was right during Lucy's nap time. Um, but her naps are shifting right now from two naps a day to one nap a day. So we finally, for the first time today, I felt like we kind of like were able to go because she was awake during that time. So that was really exciting. She really likes going to these things. They're really fun. Um, thing four, <laughs> I finished my stocking. So I've been making these Christmas stockings for us. This is the first one I made, it's Colin's. This is the second one, it's mine. And the third one is Lucy's. Now, the pattern that I'm using is a stocking, it's a Knit Picks stockings pattern. Um, if you look up Knit Picks stockings in Ravelry, it'll come up. It looks like this. I'm using the same exact yarn that, call, that is called for in the pattern, almost, but I added an additional color. So the pattern is pretty much for two stockings and it comes with two motifs for the color work. Since I'm doing a third one and I'm adding a third color, I want to pick it I want to pick a different motif so I, I have to figure that out I don't know what I'm gonna do yet this one's got stars this one's got reindeers and whatever I pick I'm either gonna have to find a chart for or make up a chart for so what I figure I'm gonna do is go to the chart in the pattern figure out how big it is like how many stitches it needs to um, accommodate <laughs> and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do for Lucy's color work pattern. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to browse Ravelry and see what I can find, like a free color work pattern that I can steal the chart from. Uh, yeah. Okay, those are my four things. <laughs>